Hi, this is Thomas Lyra from Industrial Systems team at Texas Instruments. This training module is part of the Industrial Communication series and gives you an introduction to key technologies, the programmable real-time unit and the industrial communication subsystem. We first look at the industrial communication market and its key attributes, followed by the PIU, the programmable real-time unit, which is at the heart of real-time deterministic processing. The extension of program or real-time unit into industrial communication subsystem. One key element in industrial communication subsystem is the time synchronization capability. The potential of ICSS providing a real-time gateway to the analog world. We then look into one example where multiple industrial communication and interfaces are used, the industrial drive. At the end, I summarize available industrial communication TI designs for further exploration. The industrial markets many times have automation as a common feature and over time this term got replaced by smart. The factory automation, building automation and energy automation are now called smart factory, smart building and smart grid. Also known to these markets is the real-time deterministic processing of data in the system and as each system has its own boundary condition, many different communication protocols were developed. For example, Provinet today is the leading industrial Ethernet protocol used by German car manufacturers. When it comes to the field level of manufacturing floor, we see many times Ethercat and Circo3 as drives communication and another set of protocols for motor position feedback such as NDAT, Hyperface, DSL and BIS. With the transition to Industry 4.0, more communication technologies are introduced to the smart factory, which allows communication between product and machines using smart sensor tags with near-field communication. In substation automation, the architecture and scale of the system looks different compared to smart factory and seamless redundancy on the process bus of the Bay Area is a key element when it comes to fast detection and system-wide reaction in case of power loss. The number of protections and measurement devices on an HSR ring typically is below 20 devices. When we look into building automation, the number of IOs controlled in the system easily exceeds hundreds of nodes and EtherCAT is one of the industrial Ethernet standards which scales to thousands of IOs. For room controllers, protocols like KNX provide the right level of scale and performance in this environment. In transportation market, we see more and more overlap to real-time communication and control in machines. There is an effort to standardize real-time deterministic Ethernet for the car and machines under the umbrella of IEEE called time-sensitive networking. Overall, today there are more than 30 industrial Ethernet standards and more than 100 serial-based communication protocols deployed in the market. All solve the same problem of real-time deterministic communication in a closed environment. Bringing these industrial requirements to TI technology, we identified one basic IP which is optimized for low latency and low jitter while maintaining the flexibility of programmable solution for multi-protocol and various interfaces. The programmable real-time unit is a non-pipeline 32-bit RISC CPU which gets us no jitter in real-time execution of communication and control application. The PRU does an instruction fetch, decode and execution on register file in a single cycle. It beats any ARM and DSP architecture when it comes to real-time and deterministic processing. The 1000 bit wide data bus provides lowest latency and the throughput needed to further increase the efficiency of a system including gigabit data rates. Register mapped IOs and bitwise addressing provide maximum interface flexibility. Execution of the code is in a real-time loop and events can be mapped into register R31 for polling. It has its own interrupt controller to send interrupts into the system and receive events from the system. 
PIU is programmed in assembler or C code and there is full support in Code Composer Studio for source level debugging. When it comes to design of real-time deterministic communication and control, PIU is programmed in Assembler to keep full control on timing. PIU was not developed with industrial use case in mind. In order to make it a highly differentiated technology for industrial, we have added more hardware blocks around the PIUs to get maximum performance and flexibility out of the subsystem. One industrial communication subsystem consists of two PIUs, each serving one Ethernet port in a line or ring topology. For industrial Ethernet, there is a real-time MII interface with CRC hardware, real-time error and link detection, additional register banks for real-time task switches. Both are connected through 1000 bitwide broadside interface. There is a high-speed UART for 12 megabaud Profibus communication. Oversampled shift register clocked up to 200 megahertz and used for the backplane communication and RS485 based position encoder protocols. A 16-bit general purpose I.O. interface which can be used to interface to external devices such as cameras and FPGAs. A single cycle 32-bit hardware multiplier for basic signal processing tasks such as filters and FFT. Time synchronization unit which can be tuned in one nanosecond steps and generate internal and external events to connect to the application. A enhanced capture unit which can be used as PWM output, capture input or timer for task switches. ICSS has its own data memory which provides low latency access to data compared to the system-wide memory which is typically a factor of 10x lower. There is a long list of interfaces and protocols ICSS supports and it's open for customers to develop their own protocol. For real-time deterministic communication it is necessary to synchronize communication and application within nanoseconds. The timer module inside Industrial Ethernet Peripheral provides this capability. The least significant bit of the 32-bit timer represents 1 nanosecond and the counter typically increments by 5 nanoseconds. In other words, it's running 200 MHz. The default increment of 5 nanoseconds can be changed to a different value, for example 4 or 6 nanoseconds, and for a certain number of updates. Vibration and shock are causing high deviation of the system synchronization. It can go up to plus minus 700 ppm. Another challenge is very slow drift where only one nanosecond is adjusted every few seconds. For Ethernet based synchronization there are timestamps captured on incoming and outgoing packets. For application synchronization there are external and internal sync and latch signals. Especially for motor drives, a synchronization with PWM cycles is supported in either direction through PWM sync events. Putting ICSS into customer application, we see many opportunities for TI analog parts directly connected to ICSS. The key differentiation of using ICSS is the real-time capability. ICSS provides a real-time gateway to analog. This capability is typically solved with custom ASICs and FPGAs at a high cost for the customer. The table shows just a selection of winning combos by PRU ICSS function, the analog parts directly attached and the benefit which results out of this combination. On industrial Ethernet, for example, there's a selection of Ethernet files which comes in pairs of two to support line and ring topology in industrial. The benefit in is real-time deterministic communication for many different protocols using the same hardware. For position feedback, there is high-speed RS485 transceiver HVD78, which is used to support multiple protocols over one transceiver. One ICSS on Citara AM437X supports up to six encoder feedback channels to enable multiple access application used in robotics. The highest number of channels and external parts connected to ICSS is for isolated sigma-delta current feedback.
One PIU supports up to nine channels for SYNC3 filtering. In parallel, it does also fast overcurrent detection. The current measurement can be time triggered from either the PWM cycle or communication cycle of a second ICSS on the device. In summary, with ICSS you can drive many standard and proprietary interfaces for multiple channels, time synchronized and multi-protocol using same physical layer for different protocols. Moving on to real applications and end equipment, we look at the industrial drive as an example. An industrial drive is always connected to higher layer control levels through line or ring topology. The so top five industrial Ethernet protocols allows maximum flexibility for the drive manufacturer to plug into ecosystems of leading industrial automation players such as Siemens and Rockwell Automation. The ICSS block on the left side provides this multi-protocol capability on the fly by downloading new firmware into the PIU for different PLC systems. Still serial-based field bus like Profibus DP version 2 are used in the market and certified PIU firmware for Profibus is available. Customer later on can make a seamless transition for Profibus to Profinet using the same ICSS. On the application side, there is a trend towards digital interface for current and position measurement. On the application side, there is a trend towards digital interface for current and position measurement. There is a similar multi-protocol play with the position feedback protocols as different encoder suppliers are used on the market. Protocols like Hyperface DSL provide the advantage of single line communication and allows for easy integration of feedback wires into the motor cable. Industrial drives always use isolation towards a power stage and isolated current measurement using sigma delta modulators on the hot side and flexible time triggered SYNC3 filters on the cold side solves this problem. The integration of communication and control on a single chip like AM437X provides optimum performance and minimum chitter for cycle times as low as 31.25 microseconds. The IEP timer on each ICSS instance can serve either as timing master or timing slave, indicated with the red arrow on top of the block diagram. The data exchange between application and communication and on-chip 256k shared RAM is used, which sits on high-speed parallel interconnect. In summary, this example shows maximum use case for two ICSS blocks on AM437X solving multi-protocol industrial Ethernet, multi-protocol position feedback, multi-channel flexible sigma delta filters with overcurrent detection, and flexible time synchronization between application and communication. Making a first step from system level diagram to real hardware and firmware implementation of industrial communication function. TI is putting TI designs on the web for customers to explore and finally implement in their environment. Here is the overview of TI designs for industrial communication which are released or about to be released in 2015. Just go on TI web page and search for the design number to go to the details. The industrial Ethernet designs are typically fully certified solutions which is provided in PIU object code and ARM side software for driver and stack in source code. For position encoder like this C master, we released fully document PIU firmware and source code. It can also serve as a great starting point for customers implementing their own serial protocol as it provides basic functions of oversampling, CRC, debouncing filter and framing. The interface designs are all provided in PIU source code and can be further adapted by the customer. Many of these designs are based and run on industrial communication platforms like the Industrial Communication Engine Board or Single Chip Drive Hardware. Both are available on TIE Store for purchase. To conclude this training module, we looked into PIU ICSS technology which solves multiple problems in the industrial market. It makes life easier for the engineer to address the challenges of multi-protocol communication and real-time communication. It makes industrial Ethernet as simple as standard Ethernet. 
and it is open technology for customers to implement their own protocol.